And we are back with USATF's Journey to Gold podcast, coming to you live from the 2024 World Indoor Championships in Glasgow, Scotland. We have the great Grant Holloway with us here. What's up, fellas? And everybody watching? Two-time World Indoor Champion in the 60-meter hurdles. Back, back. Back to back, like Dre said. Five-time World Champion in the hurdles, respectively. Still doing it. Still doing it. How you feel, G? Right now, I'm recovering from taking shots on the empty stomach. But other than <laughs> oh my goodness, what was Coach you, what was you drinking? You. Where's your Coach Holloway gonna kill us? Uh, why, where are we right now? Scott. Oh, you're drinking. Oh, okay. Scotch. Oh, Scotch. Oh, that's only right. That's yeah. only right. But no, honestly, I'm feeling good. I mean, I double back with two fast times. So obviously, I know I'm in shape. Obviously, I know the training and everything is going the way it yeah. should be so you know all you got to do is just come out this is the easy part like 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 we always say the, yeah. the training is the hard part coming out here and just showing up and running a smooth little five hurdles is the it's the easy part so like before i left i was going over eight and nine and i was over here like right, i'm working hard right. you know so i knew once i got here i was like all right let's just put the pieces to the puzzle together and seven yeah. 729 championship record i'm gonna take it yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I joked. I, I didn't tell uh, Ramon this. So I, I wanted to tell him, like, hey, look, man, if you did a better job, you would have broke the world record. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it's dope. You did a great again. job, man. Hey, 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 again, hey, again, hey, hey. again. You know what I'm saying? But nah, nah, he did a good see, job. See, the thing is, too, which people really don't realize is, like, oh, if you have, like, a great warm-up dog, like, yeah. that sets the tone to, like, where, where you going to range from. Yeah. Like, honestly, first round, 10 o'clock in the morning, yeah, 7-4. Like, literally, my, I, I was low-key mad about the 7-4 because I was like, all right, this whole year, let's do nothing but 13 O's and 7-3s. Yeah. You know, you, you know, we, we all know the rules. Consistency, consistency, consistency. Yeah. At, that, at, at some point, you're going to have that one and it's just going to pop off. Mm -hmm. So I ran the 7-4 today, and I was like, I wanted to throw my middle fingers up. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I was yeah, upset. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, for me, I was like, all right, you know, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Your warm up was lackluster. It was good warm up to get you through. You did what you had to do, and then I kind of just told myself, "All right, let's have a statement. You know, mm -hmm. come out here, put out a time, basically make everybody think like, all right, well, in order to PR, I mean, in order to win, I need to PR and some. Okay, um, all right, let's see what's, let's see how we're gonna do this today. Right. And you know, the 7:31, I think was a statement. I think at that point, I was already in. I think I was in. I definitely think I was in some people's heads. They had oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They I, I, you know I was I had a front row seat. You think that's when it to, was? Yeah. I, <laughs> I, you know I had a front row seat gotta, to the whole warm yeah, up. They got to think about it a couple of times, but I mean honestly, dog, like it's been this whole season so far yeah. from when I first started in October to mm -hmm. now has been good. I had a I had a couple uh, a little bang banged up injury, but you know how it is. If you're not banged up during the fall, you're not really you're working. Not working. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know so. I'm happy, I'm pleased, and you know, we're gonna see what happens next. Hey man, I'll tell you at the beginning of the season I saw you run. Honestly, I can't remember where you were, but you look like you had a little extra muscle on you to <laughs> start the season. Yeah, you've been away from a little bit. Is that what's going on? Yeah, I um so I switched up strength and conditioning coaches. Um the coach I was with, we just had a mutual part. Obviously, I just wanted a little bit more change and just mm -hmm. wanted to, you know, just step away from his program and I went with my new guy, Sean Burke. He's uh strength and conditioning for baseball, but he, me and him, we've been good friends. So mm -hmm. it's something we have always talked about. It's mm -hmm. something that we always wanted to try to do. And after the 2023 season with the success I had, um, I kind of took a gamble with not only kind of just saying like, all right, it's an Olympic year, let's, let's hope it works, but kind of just saying like, no, we're gonna make sure it works. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm communicate with you, you communicate with me. I tell you what I like, what you don't like. And you know, it's been, it's been it's been great. How Coach Holloway feel about that? He didn't want me to do I it. I know. Yeah. He didn't want, <laughs> want me to do it. I actually had to. I had to. I had to make a deal with him because I was like, kind of like, I was like, I was at the point where I was like, yo, let let me do it. Cool. If it works, cool. Like, yeah. it, no, no. Let bygones be bygones. If it doesn't work by after indoor worlds, I said, excuse my language. I was. Like, I'll submit, I'll go whatever you want me to do, whatever coach you want me to do, whatever program yeah, you want me yeah, to do. Yeah. And he was like, all right, cool. So I just got the phone with him last night. He was like, we, we're doing a marvelous job. Let's keep up the good work. Right. So, I mean, I literally was 195 at Budapest. Last mm -hmm. time I talked to you guys, I'm 201 now. Yeah. So obviously the weight and the way that I'm running and the weight distribution from Power. Uh, yeah. hurdles and yeah. everything. So yeah, man, I'm, 
I can't complain. I'm happy. That boy hopped them blocks so quick. I was like, oh my God, it's over. <laughs> Before they even get Bro, to the first murder. He thought, was, he thought I was Christian Cohen a little bit. Oh, man. <laughs> man, he jumped out them blocks. I said, oh my goodness. Does he know there is a hurdle in less than six <laughs> steps left? Like, it, he's moving kind of quickly, isn't he? So it's funny you guys even say that because somebody asked me, they were like, do you consider your, yourself the GOAT of the 60? I was like, well, I feel like you guys are trying to piggyback off the question that someone asked Christian yesterday. Yeah. Obviously, Christian said he's the best. So why, why, like, yeah. Why try to add other people in? He just said he was the best. And me, I'm a Christian Coleman fan. That's right. that's my big brother. So if Christian says I'm the best at this, I'm, look, I, I hate to sound like a, like a like a punk, but like I'm gonna be like, yeah, Christian got it. Yeah, like I'm a, that's just a, that's just the love and respect I got for him. And you know, it's just one of the things where when I was coming up in the circuit, he was definitely taking me under the wing, telling me what to do, telling me about mm -hmm. jet lag and, and and drug testing, how it's different from yeah. in America and overseas. And you know, I got I got major love for him. So. Oh, um, big, I'm I'm happy. I'm blessed. I'm happy to be in the same conversation as him. Obviously, with everything that happened with, with in, in Christian's career, he's resilient. He's obviously on his way back to where yeah. he was, Our but um, he's 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 killing it. We wanted to get C2 on the show, man. He's he had to get to the crib. Yeah. C, C, are you with me? Yeah, he's I'm not saying, mad at him. Man, man, what, he said, I, "Look, <laughs> business is settled. I'm going back I'm to the crib." Here, man. He exactly. was trying to get to the crib before the medal ceremony. <laughs> man. He, he is trying to get to the crib, Absolutely. but uh, so. I watched you, I've been watching you all indoor season. Specifically, I watched you with, with, uh, with Pops in Boston. Mm -hmm. And I and I was the first, and I done watched you run a lot, man, you know, over the years. And I watched your dad watch you run a lot over the years. That was the most exciting he ever got watching you run, I think, personally, that I've seen. Like, shock exciting. And that was the most excited I ever got watching anybody <laughs> run. That's good. Because you won the race. But you looked like if it was another 10 hurdles in front of you, you could have kept going. Yeah. I mean, that just uh, it's a testament. It's a testament to the hard work. Um, I mean, my dad is a he's a hard he's a hard he's a hard guy to please, you know. <laughs> and the thing is, I he's taught me at a young age to set my goals high. Yeah. So when I achieve them, it's you know it's a check mark and yeah. what's next. Yeah. Like honestly, like I hate it. I hate that I set my goals so high because when I achieve them, it's like, all right, what's next? Because yeah. I want to go back to where I was 2019. Like, mm -hmm. I remember 2019, I won my first world title. I thought I could run another 200 because I was yeah. celebrating so much. And then just over the years, just winning world titles, it do, it do, it, nothing hits like the first one. Right. right. So, like, literally yesterday, like, you guys saw the product of 729, but then, like, in my head, I, already, I, had, I had 725 in my head. Right. right? I seen the numbers. I know what I could do off the pads. I knew what I was doing in between each hurdle, and all my segments. I know how to get to the finish line. So like the numbers yeah. was there. So like I mean, don't get me wrong. Like 29 is a, is a quick time, but you know that's just yeah. that's just what my dad has taught me like, growing up. He's like, if you set your goals high, when you achieve them, there's gonna be nothing. Yeah. But when you set your goals low, you keep doing these small little goals. Like all right, I want to run seven four, seven four. You're running seven four. So like when mm -hmm. you run seven three, it's like you're going to be overly excited. Yeah. Set them high. When you achieve them, it's like, dang, I didn't think I could do that. But nice. Yeah, it sucks that I got to start all over. But at the end of the day, it's just like anything else. It's like, if you win, cool. You got to start, the, you gotta start that, that process over, over again. again. Yeah. If you lose, yeah, it sucks a little bit more. But then you're also able to restart the process. How fast can Grant Holloway go into 60 hours? I wonder about the 110s because we about to hit Wait, wait, wait. You're going to get there. We're going to get there. I mm -hmm. mean... It, it, the number is always a quote unquote sexy thing that we always yeah. fantasize about. Um, we all know, we've, we've all done track and field, we've all been Olympians in our own right. But we always know that we, if we done that one thing, there's that extra, that's yeah. that extra, extra height. height. Yeah. And if we, yeah. were, if we would've came out the blocks and not take that <laughs> misstep on the left or the right, that's the millisecond, you know what Man. I'm saying? Um, so the number, I mean, it's, it's tough. Uh, I think honestly, I think I'm able to put this, put the hurt, not just 60 hurdles, but even 110 hurdling into a different category. You yeah. know, I think I'm able to do 7 2, 12 7 with segments of all like maybe like 98, 99. Like Aries is like probably the only one that I know. And I, I, anybody can fact check me if you see this video, please. Right. But Aries is the only one I know that had uh, consistent segments all the way through 10 hurdles. Yeah. So and Aries like, is the one who told me in Boston. You know, yeah. I talked to Aries in Boston before your final. And he was like, Grant, 
he on a he on a different wave I right believe now. It. No, he I was appreciate like, it. He, he was like he on a different wave right now. Yeah, so I mean, I'm to, to be honest. To answer your question, I, I I believe I'm able to go 720. Let's say 725 outdoors is is, is a magic number of 77. Obviously, 777 is perfection. Yeah. So I mean, 77 is definitely you know what I want. But um, I'm not. I never really put a, a, a ceiling on my numbers, man. Yeah. It's like if I go out there, do what Grant Holloway does best. It might be 13 flat. That boy sound like Coach Holloway <laughs> over here. You know, I'm a product of where I'm from. I'm a product of where I'm from. If Grant Holloway decides to go go mess up a race, it'll yeah. be 13 four. So yeah. you know, it's just the consistency that yeah. we have to build off of. Obviously, the momentum that I'm doing right now is is, is out of this world and. Everybody around me is doing their part. Yeah. I can't wait to get back home, make everybody celebrate. And then, like I said, April will be here before you know it. Right. April will be here before you know it. And then we got the outdoor season. So, obviously, what I'm doing now, let's celebrate it. We got 48 hours to do it. That's usually the rule I say. I said mm -hmm. we got 48 hours to celebrate and get it all out of the way. But when we get back home, it's like, all right, let's reevaluate, let's reattack, let's refocus and, and get ready. Because obviously, we, 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 we fantasize about Paris, but we all know we gotta go yeah. through the hardest trials there exactly. is. You know, we gotta go to you guys are the hardest trials. Either. Exactly. And then with with our depth in the one ten hurdles, I mean Cordell, Trey, uh, Daniel, shit. I'm I'm gonna put Devin in there because we all know Devin's a gamer. And then there's always two or three college kids yeah, that come out always, of nowhere. You always got the young college cats that wanna come up and, and, and challenge. So I mean my my goal is look, first is as good as third. So get on the team. Mm -hmm. Let's get size for some jerseys. Let's get size for for everything <laughs> else. Yeah, yeah, let's get size for the rings, and then obviously let's let's go attack. Let's go attack Paris. Man, how long has your win streak been going? I'm about to say for people who are new to you. So they said uh, someone asked me the other day. They said around about three thousand six hundred days. It's Dang. Some, it's, some, it's, a, it's some change in there. Ooh, excuse me. It's some change in there, but I'm not I'm not positive of the actual day, but. How Ten, many years? Years. Ten years. Ten years. Man. That definitely has to be the longest uh, current win streak. I would say there's another hurdler who had a quite long win What's streak. That, um, Edwin. Edwin Moses, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, he he did ten years as well. Right? I, I don't think it, it was, was that. Like, no, I thought his, no, I thought no, his no, was no, eight. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, man, yeah. 2014. Yeah. 2014 was my last loss against Isaiah Moore. I and remember. you know who it is. Yeah, I remember Isaiah Moore. <laughs> but the, the crazy thing is, Isaiah Moore bust me upside my head, too. Like, he, he, had a, he had a gap. He had a gap <laughs> on me. But I was 14, man. Yeah. Hairline was peasy. I ain't, I ain't going my body Isaiah yet. Moore, you created this monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you responsible <laughs> yeah. for the monster. For the many, many <laughs> this man has blessed upon oh, all these other goodness. athletes. Yeah, Sorry for you all. Yeah, it's it's been good, fact. though. I mean, I'm a product of... Just hard work, man. Y'all, everybody know Coach Holloway, so yeah, he's yeah. at the top of the totem pole, and then it's just we got roots. Yeah. Make everybody else just better. So what is what is Grant's road to Paris gonna look like? Yeah, we obviously know that road goes through Eugene. It's kind of you know the saying that yeah. we got to throw out there with our trial. <laughs> yeah, I want to know because uh, like, you've been talking about it. So. Yeah, I mean, I've I've always I've always advocated for myself. I've always advocated uh, for my ability. Um, whether that's four by one, whether that's four by four, whether that's the four by two, the four by three, the four by four, four by five, six. No. I, <laughs> you said four by two. I asked to do the run two hundred. He told me that's not in this not the court. Yeah, yeah. Nah, but I mean, yeah. honestly, like I, I do, I do believe in my ability. Um, I was always, I was always taught, um, stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. All right. Um, so big time. You know, like I, I always, always joke with the relay coaches here at, at, at Team USA. I don't think those are jokes. If you feel me, to be honest. Yeah. Threats. I, I don't think you nor Arion are, are actually joking whenever you're talking about these relays. Yeah, I mean, but that's just, you know, that's just who I am, man. I, I work hard, and when my name is called, you know, if it's 43, it's me. Y'all know the motto. Yeah, so we gonna cool. see you, uh, Florida relay. Florida Relays, yeah, yeah, yeah. Four I'll, four. I'll be out there. I'll be out there. Whatever, whatever they want to do. I'm sure they're gonna want to try to do some USA Red, USA Blue. Look, hey, all, I, all I'm saying. I'm gonna be there. That's hey, come to the crib. I'm gonna be there. Come to the crib. I'll be in Texas. You got a, you got a Brunello. I'm, I'm there. <laughs> yeah, man. I'll make sure I get one. Yeah. Bring those sticks the out, man. What's happening? I don't smoke cigars no more. No, I ain't talking about that. Man. I'm talking about those other the golf clubs. I heard oh, you use those. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Yeah. Look, look. Yeah. I you thought you told about yourself. <laughs> nah. Yeah. No, no, I had no, a bad experience with some cigars. You do not bro. smoke cigars. <laughs> tobacco is wacko. <laughs> 
Dare to be different. <laughs> uh, you know the program. Talking about the golf clubs. Yeah, I heard man. you were an avid golfer as well. I'm, I'm, I'm getting into it, man. I haven't played, obviously, this whole indoor season yeah. just because of travel and trying to protect my knees and my back. But my highest, lowest, highest score, I shot a 92. Okay. This past. And you had a golf tournament? Yeah, I, had a, I hosted a golf. Last time I talked to you guys, I hosted a golf tournament. Um, I was able to raise a round of applause for everybody for donating uh, $32,000. Oh, man. So all that money went to feeding homeless, uh, Christmas gifts, Thanksgiving gifts. Um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to piece together and do it the right way, try to get a scholarship for a couple of athletes mm -hmm. and some kids in, in, in the 757 area and the 352, the Gainesville area. So we're, we're, we're getting the ball rolling, and this is actually a first announcement for everybody. This is – no, I haven't told anybody, but I got my golf tournament rescheduled for October 26th this year. So, nice. Oh, you back. You guys are more than welcome to pull up. You guys are more than welcome to support. This is a public service announcement uh, starting here on the podcast. Man, hey. You heard it here first on USATF <laughs> yeah, you Journey first. Gold Podcast. Like his place at the World Championship <laughs> Indoor 60 Meter Hurdles yes, first. Sir. First, Grand Holloway Golf Tournament will be back Hold for on. 2024, October. For Here sure. we go. Hold on, man. We have a list of questions from uh -oh. your fans, man. That's so fine. That's fine. We're, we're going to look. Oh, this is yeah, our little yeah, hot yeah. round. We're going to see if they can too. make you uh, plead the fifth. You ready? Oh, that's fine. I've been telling you. Lightning truth. round. Here we go. They said, man, love life, marriage in the future, because they heard you just had an anniversary. Is that? I, I don't even know if you yeah. had an anniversary. Next, no comment. Next oh, question. we pleaded the fifth on the first hey, question. Hey, hey, hey. Keep <laughs> it light. Keep hey, it light. We'll keep your relationship private. I don't like getting my private life. Okay, hey, all right. All right. But I did, I did, I did. I appreciate it. Okay, well, that doesn't count then because you yeah, kind of yeah, answered, yeah. so we we'll rock fine, with that one. Fine. All right, cool. All right, being the best for so long, who, who's in your eyesight uh, as, as far as your competitors, and who do you see, you know, replacing you whenever you decide to? Uh, it, nobody's going to be able to replace Grant Holloway. Someone else got to make a name for themselves. Right. Okay. You know, there will never be another Grant Holloway. Um, do I see another young Thundercat coming up and trying to, you know, do everything I do? Absolutely. The future is so bright, not only with technology, but just – just everything is better than you know the when we all came up. Right. Um, obviously, with competitors, I'll I'll be honest, it's myself. But I, I think what they're asking is who's going to be the guy. Um, I mean, you got the Olympic champion for a reason. Ansel Parsman is up there. Um, obviously, I got to make it through um, our trials. So between myself, Trey Cunningham, Cordell, Daniel, Devin, there's always going to be two, yeah, three, lot. two, three young college kids to come through. So um, you know, I think. Everybody has a has a shot. You never know. It's 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 track and field. Any given Sunday, we all I know. Got that. you. All right. Do you have God's will tattooed on you already, or would you? God's will. God's will. They said they saw they saw you. Do I have God's will tattooed on me? Oh my. You know what? No, I don't. I have uh, that's that's bad when I don't know that. That's, I got a whole that's sleeve of regrets. Time, yeah. I got a whole <laughs> sleeve of regrets. So that's that's what I that's where I'm at right now. My life of tattoos. <laughs> I do not have God's will tattooed on me, but it's Flavor coming. Yeah. I like that. All right, all right. Okay, with the flag football coming to the Olympics in 2028, would you ever participate in um, that or a celebrity flag football game at the NFL with the NFL? Yeah, I mean, I would love to do that type of stuff. Obviously, let let me get out of this track and field realm, so I don't want to be hurt, yeah. getting hurt on, on, be, on a yeah, stupid yeah, yeah. on a stupid flag. Risk yeah, yeah, yeah. I risk won't it. risk it, but at the same time, as soon as it's up, I have no problem going out there. I think I'll be actually, I think I'll be pretty decent at it. I I'm not gonna say I'll be the best, but I only played to the high school level. Obviously, I had D1. I, I could have gone D1 for football, yeah. but I chose to go D1 for track, which is I'm not really upset about yeah you made but, the right choice yeah but but i think i'll be all right now obviously when you get to that next level of college it's a different type of pace right. got really read coverages and schemes and everything like that but i think i'll be all right all right and then the last little section we'll say so has david Aller given you any advice uh since he's here coaching the team yeah i mean no not not since i've been here um when I'm here, it's just all facilitation. Um, he's just helping me warm up, making sure everything's good. If I need hurdles, same thing with EK. Like he just he yesterday, he, I said I need five hurdles. I'm about to go get them. He said, "You don't gotta do that, big that dog." Sounds about right. Hey, you don't gotta you do that, big dog. That, so he got my hurdles. But um, but in the in, in the past, obviously everybody knows David Oliver is he, he he's he's the guy for me. Yeah. Um, but he he always just advocating for me. Um, I showed him a little bit of some film, a couple, probably, I want to say, probably last trials. And we talked about a couple things. And, you know, obviously I try to model my game and, you know, some of my hurdle hurdle techniques and hurdle aspects of what he did because obviously he's, 
he's one of the greats as well. You know, yeah. he's a he's a world champion. He's an Olympian. He's an Olympic medalist. So you yeah. know, it keeps going. Well, for sure. Well, look, we Appreciate know you got to get out of here, man. And uh, we, we want to uh, wish you continued success. Respect, you know you're one of my favorites. Bro. Yeah, man, yeah. yeah. We'll see Respect. you back on the show, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all we'll get know. you back on the show. Every time I'll I get, see you. Every time I go on the show, look, it's always another world title coming yeah, know, So, look, it. I'm doing hey, well. I might do this show twice before the Olympics. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> I got to get ready. We're going to get you on here twice. <laughs> I'll see you at the uh, Florida Relays. Yeah. Uh, We're going to get you on the war stand out there to get you. I'm for real. Come to the house. Come to the house. I'll be there for sure. I'm so. I'll come. I'll come pick you up. It's it's nice. You'll like it. All right, I got sure, a little dog though. She don't like black people. You gonna pull right, your pick you up in the, in the <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on. <laughs> we talking about that offline. We talking about that offline. Man. Man, Grant Holloway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us again. Yes, ATF Journey to Gold podcast. Till next time.